I'm John Wilder, the historian for Aleppo Shrine. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about this uh, hodgepodge collection of officer jewels from the uh, Commandery of Knights Templar. Um, many of these were found uh, from when we were cleaning out a local lodge that had a, uh, a group of uh, four commanderies that had merged together. So there were a lot of partial sets, um, so we decided to use them as a uh, display to talk about the individuality between commanderies. Uh, especially in Massachusetts and, and Rhode Island in, that, in our grand commandery, though I don't know too much about uh, commanderies throughout the country, when they were formed and throughout the second half of the 1800s, each had very unique uh, regalia. They all wore the standard Knights Templar uniform, but the baldric, the apron, uh, the rosette on their chapeau, uh, the trim on their regalia was either gold or silver. Oftentimes you'll see gold trim regalia and it'll be referred to as a past commander's baldric or apron. Wasn't the case. Uh, that was just a gold trim commandery. Sometimes even the swords were uh, fully gold but with a black handle as uh, has been discussed previously by uh, Worshipful Keith McKinnon. Um, so that also went to their member jewels as well. They were all different. Uh, up top we have, though it is an older set, this is the design that is still offered today by most regalia companies uh, as a generic uh, Knights Templar jewel. So we have some of the various ones here. These, I don't believe, though they are rather tarnished, I don't believe they're actually silver. They might be plated. But this design with the black and white uh, ribbon is the ones that you'll still see today. This is a rather interesting design. I'm not sure exactly which commander it came, it came from. I think I know, but I've seen similar ones from a local commander. I think it was uh, Bosiant Commander, which was in Malden, which had the shield design on their Red Cross jewels. So this one has the, uh, the cross up here with the cross swords, knight's helmet, and the shield below with the emblem of each office. Down here was a rather nice set. Unfortunately, we only have three of these, which has a larger emblem with the crown and cross. So you have some of the various officers. There's very different symbols to what we have in Blue Lodge, though so you see some of the same ones, including the level and uh, the square in some of them. But uh, down here, what will probably be the most common one that you'll find is that of the guard. And it's usually a battle axe within a square. So I've grouped some of them together. Um, this one, I believe it was from a commandery in uh, New York, uh, came to us from uh, Worshipful Keith McKinnon. I, I enjoy this one especially because it has the uh, armored gauntlet holding the medallion, which I think is a pretty cool detail. The rest of these are pretty standard. This one here, along with these two, are from my own commandery, Boston commandery. These were later replacements. This jewel uh, is actually interesting because it says Boston Encampment of Knights Templar on the back. And until the 1870s, Knights Templar commanderies were known as encampments, most of them anyway. So in the Grand Lodge Fire of 1864, Boston Commandery was the body that lost the most uh, regalia and equipment wise and also monetarily. So all of our jewels were lost, and there's an interesting story, which we'll talk about another time, and into what became of those jewels. Uh, so in, eight, in 1864, a replacement set was made. Now, I've gone through, and we found, we happen to be missing quite a few of them, but we've recently found a number of them, mostly guards. Um, and I've gone through and been replacing the, uh, the velvet, which is pretty much deteriorated. This one is actually an older replacement that's already been done. Uh, so that we can continue to, to wear them. I found through looking at the details of how they were made that they've been redone at least three times after 1864. There's at least two different styles and I'm very in the details of, of the flowering around here and the actual engraving. So there's at least two, two sets that were made, um, or not rather sets, but in sets of individual pieces that were made that say encampment, and at least two that say commandery. Now, I also have two other jewels with me from that collection that are rather rare. Um, if you are a member of the Knights Templar in our Grand Commander, you will know that ours 
I believe is the only Grand Commander that has the position of Captain of the Guard. So we very, very recently found this jewel, which is rather plain, but it just has a banner across it that says Captain of the Guard. So because that position doesn't exist anywhere else, there's not a standard jewel for that. So that was a very interesting find. And what I believe may be the only jewel of its type, because I don't know where else you would find one, and um, I would be love to be proven wrong to be found another one. This one doesn't have the hanger, but I have uh, another one at home that I hope to uh, put it back together. This is the state flag bearer for the Massachusetts state colors of Boston Commandery. And it does say Boston Encampment on it, so it is the 1864 jewel. I believe our Grand Commander is usually one of the only ones that has the state colors in the asylum. So I would think that not many other commanders would have a state flag bearer jewel. And to actually have one with the Massachusetts colors reproduced there, I think is uh, it, it's a beautiful jewel. Um, and I, I plan on putting it back together so it will be in use. Although uh, we do have some talks of trying to recreate the entire set to replace the ones that we are missing. So perhaps these will go on display. But uh, we were very excited to find the ones that we have. We have about a dozen of them now, as I said, mostly guards. And uh, those of us who wear them, I, I'm proud to wear one on my uniform. Uh, we're, we're very proud to have that heritage and to, to have them back in use. And we hope to uh, find the other ones or recreate them. Um, but uh, if you like what you've seen so far on our page, uh, make sure to uh, like the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook. Thank you.